Hi everybody, welcome back to part 3 of the Alice 3 Parameters tutorial. Uh, and now we are going to create an event that allows us to call the bunny visit method whenever he clicks on a friend. Whenever we click on a friend, and then he'll visit that friend. Um, he visit the friend that's clicked, of course. Um, so the first thing we want to do is we want to disable my first method because we don't want to test it anymore. So if we go to the uh, event listeners, and you right click this event, and um, uncheck is enabled, it'll disable that uh, that event. And so we want to add a new event listener, and we want this to be mouse related, and we want it to be a, a add mouse click on object listener. And so what we want to do is drag in the bunnies visit method into this empty statement here. So let's go to the bunnies uh, selection menu and do that. And we'll make him visit the bison for now by default, and we'll make the text string hello by default for now. And so now he's only going to visit the bison, but we want him to visit um, any animal that's clicked on. So in order to do that, there's an, uh, this event right here. It's the get model at mouse location event. If we drag that over this dot bison, then the bunny will visit the model that is under that is at the mouse location when the mouse is clicked. And the green will be hello for now. You can make the green. Um, the green is going to be the same for all the for all these clicks. So if I run the world now, um, nothing's happening until I click on something ideally. So I'm going to click on the bison first and see what happens. Okay. He says hello, and he still goes around the bison as he should. I'll click on the chicken now. says hello and he jumps over the chicken and I'll do the camel last just to check okay um, so that's working pretty well and that's basically it for this tutorial um, a couple of key points that you guys should remember is that uh, well the events in Alice 3 are a lot more complicated than Alice 2 so if you want to click, if you want things to happen when you click on something, you always have to make sure that you use the mouse clicked on object listener event, and you always want to make sure that you use the get model at mouse location, uh, mouse location event. What is nice about this um this event is that it's a bit more specific than it was in Alice two. In Alice two, for example, oh well, let me show you. In Alice two, if I were to click on the ground the um uh, the method would kick in and like interact with and like the bunny would interact with the ground but in alice 3 the ground isn't considered a model so it doesn't accidentally run if i click on the ground see it's always safe i'm clicking on the ground but I have, when i hit the turtle it works fine so that's one uh, thing that's good about alice 3. alice 3 demands more specificity from the user but it pays back in more for with more specific results um another thing you guys have to remember is that Parameters are a lot more specific. Um, the types that you get um, feed to the parameters have to be a lot more specific. And so I just want to go back to this um, type interface. So to get the gallery class type interface, they're just so like thing is the most general. Thing is the most general. Uh, is the most general thing you can put in to into you can pass to the object parameter, and then it goes down to scene. Uh, there's turnable objects. There's objects that are only turnable, which include uh, which include uh, oh, a almost any objects turnable. Then you have movable turnables. So a turnable would be, for example, the body part. Because in Alice three, there are body parts that most body parts can't move by themselves. So they're considered turnables, but not movable turnables. And then there are models, and there's more specific jointed models, and there are bipeds. And then, for example, the bunny is a biped, but the bison camel go from desert tortoise or a quadruped. So, if you want them to all, if you want them all to be able to go to the parameter, you need to use the model. If you want to only use bipeds, you click biped, of course. So, the type allows you to be more specific. And what this allows you to do, it allows you to not have to make lists of objects because sometimes you only want a certain type of object to go into a parameter. In Alice 2, if you want a specific group of objects to only go to parameter, you would have to make a list. Using these um, gallery class types, you can be more specific without having to make a list. So that's another good thing about uh, Alice 3. 
Um, and that's what I wanted to say. So, uh, good luck on making all uh, your worlds, guys. And hope you have fun. Bye.